said to her, Give me a drink. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. But when the woman of Samaria said to him, How is it that you, being a Jew, ask drink from me, a Samaritan woman? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God, and who is it says to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and, if, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where then do you get the living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from it, from it himself, as well as his sons and his livestock? Verse 13. Jesus answered and said to her, Whoever drinks of this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never be thirsty. But in him a fountain of water spring up into everlasting life. Lord, thank you for your word. And I pray that let your word penetrate into the hearts. God, it's not about me, it's about you. And God, we want that living water to overflow. Gusto namin mag-overflow yung living water sa buhay namin. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Isang malakas na palakpak sa ating Panginoon. Amen. So, sabihin sa sabi mo, get ready. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do something. I just kind of point you. Sorry. Let me your ears for the next probably 15 to 20 minutes. I will have a very, very short preaching. But this short preaching will make an impact, I pray. Okay, dapat hindi ako yung mag-preach na yan. Okay? Dapat hindi ako yung mag-preach na yan. Dapat it's... Uh, it's... Sino ba yun? Si... Sabi ko naman sinong preacher dapat. Okay. Ayan. Okay. So, Ara, please interpret to Ana. Okay? Okay. Um, sino familiar sa story? Who's familiar with the story? Me! Okay. Sa mga hindi familiar sa story, hindi kayo familiar dito, Audrey. Basahin niyo, di ba? Basahin niyo. Diyan, chapter 4. Okay, what the way. Okay. Uh, si Jesus, meron siyang journey. Okay? Si Lord, meron siyang tinuntahan. And he's going to a place Tapos, imagine, during those times, uh, naglalakad lang sila. Hindi sila, ano, hindi sila tawag dito. Hindi sila, bihira yung nakakarwahe. Kasi dito na subukan mo maglakad ng hindi ka nakuha. Okay, tanong yung katabi mo. Tanong yung katabi mo na uho ka na ba? Oo, oh, ano ba? Yeah. Okay? Tanong yung katabi mo. Nasubukan mo na lang mauhaw. Anong ginagawa mo? Pag ikaw nauuhaw, anong ginagawa mo? Um, uh, tawag dito, anong ginagawa mo? Pag ikaw nauuhaw lang, kunyari, nage-exercise ka, nauuhaw ka. Mag-exercise, itutuloy mo ba yung exercise mo? O kaya, uh, tawag dito, o kaya, pag ikaw nauuhaw, anong gagawin? Pakain ka ba? Diba? O, oh, okay. May isang ano, may istorya ako. May isang tao, ang niyaman-niyaman niya. Ang niyaman-niyaman niya. Tapos, pumunta siya sa Euro. Then, this person na pumunta sa Euro, kumuha siya na ano, na, uh, pardon, pumunta siya sa isang hotel. Tapos, eh galing siya sa bisyerto eh. Pagka buka siya doon sa gripo, may lumabas sa tubig. So, amazed na amazed siya. Wow! May tubig! Magic! Magalit ah, siya. Oo, oh, magic. First time niya kasi nakakita ng gripo eh. First time niya nakakita ng gripo. Matuwa-tuwa siya. Okay, wow, magic. Sabi, kailangan ko to, kailangan ko to. Okay, hindi tuwa-tuwa siya. Kasi sabi niya, In our place, we don't have enough water. In our place, we don't have enough. But so, I need this. I need this uh, faucet right now. Then, uh, ang ginawa niya, aalis niya siya sa hotel, sabi niya doon. Sabi niya doon sa test. 
Sabi niya. Kailangan niyo kasi ako, di ba? Mayaman ako eh. Sabi niya, okay, kailangan mo ikaw. Sabi niya, pwede ko bang bilhin yung, yung kung ano pa yung nilalabasan ng tubig doon? Iuwi ko lang doon sa pag-kingdom ko. Kasi, ang galing eh. Lumalabas yung tubig. In short, pwede bang kunin yung gripo at iuwi ko at babayaran kita ang aking pagkano? Kasi, kasi ang galing. Nakatikit lang siya sa pader eh. Tapos sa kadiyan siya sa pader, tapos ang binuksan ko, lumalabas yung tubig. Ibig sabihin, pag ito, hinitikit ko lang sa pader doon sa bahay. Dalabas na ng tubig. Ganun ba yan? Ganun ba yan? Pero kung akala niya, uh, pag binikit mo yung gripo sa pader, automatic lalabas siya tubig. Pero hindi ganun yan. Tama ka Ano kailangan? Kailangan na? Pipes. Pipes. Okay. So now, Um, ganun din. So normally, pag isang taon na uuhaw, kailangan niya ng tubig. Yes or no? Kailangan niya ng tubig. Pag ikaw hindi ka makapagsalita, kailangan niya na i-sort road ka, meron ka na rock down sa lalang muna mo, kailangan ng tubig. Tama ka rin? Okay. Sino gusto ng tubig ngayon? Ano ka rin? Tarayin mo katabi. Tarayin mo katabi. Do you want water? Do you want water? Do you want water? Okay. Do you want water? Okay. Ayun mo ang katabi mo? Are you thirsty? No? Oo, oh, ako ba? Tignan! Tignan mo yung katabi mo! Ayun ako tignan! Okay, isa pa, isa pa. Isa pa. Another illustration. I remember before, I'm running, I'm training for marathon. Okay? Um, I joined marathon before. I joined, uh, out ito? Running events. So, nagtutrowback yung Facebook. Uh, meron ako doon mga picture kung saan naglalambitin ako sa monkey barn. Uh, so, yung mga ano, uh, macho pa ako ng araw na yan. Okay. <laughs> yan. So, siya nakakita ano, di ba? Yan. Yan. Okay. Uh, during those times, tuwing tumatakbo kami, isang bagay na mahalaga sa training namin, eto, we need water. At least, after every 2 kilometers, we need water. And I'm running for 21 kilometers. I'm running for 21 half marathon and running for 42 kilometers. And we need water. We always need this. After 2 kilometers. But we need to train our body to drink water at least 5 kilometers. Every 5 kilometers. Hindi ka nga, hindi ka pa nga nakakas 10 minutes. Gusto ko nang tubig eh. Ako wala eh. Ah, okay. But we need to train our body for 5 kilometers without drinking. Kasi, if we want to finish the race pass, kailangan mas kaunti yung panamin. Tapos kasi, ang mangyayari, meron dyang drink station. Hihitamata po kami, tapos hihitiw pa kami. Sa so, EPL dyan, may mayakan mo, keeper. Okay. Uh, Atakbo kami. Tapos, ano? Kaya na. Alam mo ka lang siya. Okay, we're ready for today. Atakbo kami, tapos, meron dito, ano, meron dito water station, it will take siguro one minute, at least one minute for us to drink the water. Okay, one minute. And that one minute is very important to us. So, minsan, pag ang ginagawa na, patatakbo kami, pupun namin yung tubig, tapos habang tumatakbo kami, iinom kami. Ganun. Or sometimes, meron kaming, what, meron kaming balita bote, lalagyan ng tubig na kalagay dyan. Sa natakbo kami. Hindi, minsan, hindi advice na tumatakbo kami habang kami ganito. So, ano yung ibig sabihin nun? Um, pag ikaw gumagawa ka ng isang bagay na physical activity, you'll, it's normal for a person to be thirsty. Yes or not? Yes. Sino ito hindi nauuhaw? Tarang mo katabi mo. Tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Hindi ba nauuhaw yan? Okay. Okay. So, yan, tipik mo na tayo bago maging biblical. How much glass of water do you, your, do you think your body needs every day? Eight glasses. <laughs> Recommended. Ilan ganito? Ilan ba yan? Ano ba? Uh, sino ba nagbigay nito? Wala ko kasi nagbigay nito. Ano ba? Uh, one liter. One liter to. Okay. How many? How many? Mga four. Ilan? Ilan? Sino ba yan? Who can... Um, who can finish one bottle of this? Two, three, four, eight. Just for the past few weeks, for the past few weeks, 
since uh, I got sick for the past few weeks, nakaka pito ang gawalo ko ganito. So that's more than 10 water. And ihila ako ng ihit. Sabi nga nila, if the color of your urine is not apple green, you, you are dehydrated. You are dehydrated. Kung kulay orange yung ihi mo, you are dehydrated. Yan. Nagigay siya ba? Tanay mo katap yun, dehydrated ka ba? Are you dehydrated? Okay. And let's go sa spiritual. Anything na nag-exert ng physical effort, gano'n man maging thirsty. Tama? Yes. Gano'n maging makukuha. Mga mga uh, nauuhaw. Pero, pero, the same thing. There's a person this week, Ah, dyan, okay na ulit. Okay. Ay, okay. Hindi, okay na ulit. Okay na ulit yung keyboard. Okay, sorry. Okay. 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 Um, there's a person this week, uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to attend the uh, life group, the Bible studies, the discipleship. And there's one person who who made the stand, who stepped up for me. And I want to honor that person today. Okay? I want to honor that person today. Uh, he attended the Tuesday live group. He attended the the Thursday live group. Hindi ko kasi sabi ko siya. He attended the Friday live group and the Saturday, the Friday afternoon live group. So four live groups. And guess what? This person nagre-review. He got an upcoming birth exam. Okay, so ano ang salala na naman dito future niya? He could become an engineer or not. Tama ba yun? License. I mean, license engineer. Yeah, license engineer. Yeah. I I don't know how to license it. That person wants to become the top one. So, yeah. That person wants to become a license engineer, top one or a top ten to the board exam. And guess what? Instead of going, instead of focusing to the review within the past few weeks, I don't pass with that all. It's on Friday. I called him. I said to him. Bro, hindi ba po, hindi makakapunta sa ganito eh. Can you handle the Bible study? And he said, Kaya, 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 kaya. So, you can hear, there's a hesitation the voice of the person to handle the Bible study. Because that person is reviewing at the moment. They didn't review it. Tama ko ulit? Ikaw, gusto mo mag-pastor ba? Ganoon yung ba? Kaya ka, finals ka. Pili pa ko. Pili pa ko that person. And yung ginawa niya, umatin siya. And guess what? And there's no other than but that's Kuya Eddie. Kaya Eddie! Kaya Eddie! Last week will cost you something. Anya, tears, uhaw. Because sometimes you're doing a lot of things. Ginagawa mo to sa pagnoon, you preach ka, you worship lead, and so on. So you're doing a lot of things for the Lord. And dami mo ginagawa sa pagnoon. Pero dumarat niyo yung time, you will just get tired. Yes or no? Yes. Darat niyo yung time, mapapagod ka para pa ulit ulit. Yes or no? Then. Dahil tayo yung time para ang tao namin doon burnt out. Can you say the word burnt out? Burnt out. Burnt out. Or, in our own physical language, we call that dehydration. Sabi natin dehydration. Dehydration! Ibig sabi na empty ka na eh. Wala ka ng laman eh. Si, Pastor, I got a problem. May pero sitwasyon. There's a problem with the world. There's a problem with our family. There's a problem sa puso ko. I broke it out. I asked it up and so on and so forth. Di ba alam mo ganyan? There's a problem with my friends and so on and so forth. Tama mali! Normal for a person mapagod. Normal for a person na hindi ma-dehydrate. Yes or no? Yes! Sabi yung tanin yung katanin mo, dehydrated po ganyan. Yes! Okay, symptoms of dehydration. Di ba kasi to the word? Symptoms of dehydration. Spiritual dehydration. My title for this afternoon. Okay, my title. Feel me. Fill me up. Fill me up. Okay. Okay. Be filled up with the Lord. That's the title of my message this afternoon. Okay. Symptoms of or physical dehydration. Physical dehydration, it will make you weak. 
It will make you weak. Sino na pag dehydrated ka, hindi ka na pagod. Di ba? Parang pagod ka. Parang, ano, it will make you weak. It will make you tired. Um, what else? It will make you... By the way, if you're, if you're dehydrated, and if you're not drinking enough water, hindi mo yung katabi mo. Madaling tumanda. Madaling tumanda. Sino ba? Madaling tumangit. So, physical dehydration, other symptoms, it will make you look old. It will make you ugly. What else? Physical dehydration, uh, if you are dehydrated physically, prone ka sa maraming sakit. Prone ka sa maraming sakit. So, sabi mo sa katabi mo, alam mo na. Alam mo na, alam mo na. Okay! So, kasi natin eh. <laughs> okay. Okay, anyway. Uh, let's relate it in our spiritual life. If a person is spiritually dehydrated, that person is spiritually weak and tired. What does it mean? Kung may problema lang, ayaw mo na mag-pray. Tama ba lang? If you are physically, if you are spiritually dehydrated, you are spiritually weak and tired. For example, you will do something for the Lord, you will do this, you will do this. Then after a certain period of time, parang pagod na ako. Ayoko na mag-serve kay Lord. Yes or no? <laughs> okay? I know someone. Okay, kasi pa lang isang kwento. I know someone here na nag-serve kay Lord. Na, prayer warrior ng church. That person is our prayer warrior. Kung may kailangan kayo ng prayer, lagi kayo sa taong yung pag-pray niya kayo. And very powerful. Effective yung prayer niya. Nagkakatotoo. Okay? Kinalali niya lang kasi no. That person is prayer warrior ng church. But guess what? Every time that God is challenging that person to do something radical or out of this world, like treat the pastor or treat the... May react okay? May ganun. Ano yan? Nagpapanik na, nagwawala na. And normally, that person, nagpe-pray siya ng 11pm to 1am. Wala na masyadong tulog. If you are spiritually weak, you are, hindi mo magagawa yun. Parang, ayaw ka na. Ayaw ka na mag-church. Sino dito tinatamad mag-church? Wala, siyempre, wala magkakas na kamay. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, hindi ikaw yun. If you are spiritually dehydrated, you don't want to go to the church, you don't want to pray, you don't want to worship the Lord, in short. Yes or not? Okay, okay. Second, if you are spiritually dehydrated, sabi ko kanina, you look ugly. Tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Okay, okay. What does it mean you look ugly? It means ganito yan. Okay. Tingnan mo yan. Okay, tingnan mo yan. Tingnan mo yan. If you are spiritually dehydrated, naniniwala ka ba lahat na nakakilala ka, Lord? Ang ganda nung nung wangis. Yun yung pang yung ganda ng ng countenance. That may may something there's something on that person that at, attracts other people. Yes or no? Yes! Hindi naman yung katabi mo, di ba? Nagiging attractive yung dati, wala kayo rin din naman. Di ba? Ganun, no? Di ba? Okay. Hindi! When a person comes to the Lord, when a person give... That, okay, okay. When a person give his or her life to Jesus, that person becomes much more attractive. Yes or no? Yes! Alam mo, itong mga pataan na ito, hindi naman mga guwapo ito dati sa paningin na namin. Ay, may guwapo na naman ngayon. Okay. Okay. Of course, too. Hindi, honestly. Ano yung countenance? Ano yung beautiful countenance? It means, pag tinitingnan ka ng tao, lagi ang mukhang stress. Tingnan mo ka tayo. You look, look, you look stressed, you look old, you look much older than your age. Yes or no? Yes. Tingnan yan. I don't. Tingnan, tanong ka tayo na ikat dito. Okay, ano? Okay. Yes. Okay. You are much look older than your age. Or, if you're spiritually dehydrated, Ah, parang ang lagi may problema kahit wala. It's just like you have a problem. And you are no always look serious. Lagi yung mga ganun, no? Wala, 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 wala. Okay. Yes, sir. Ayan. To add you, no? Ayan. Ayan. Hindi naman, kahit ang ganyan, guwapo pa rin yan, eh. Ayan. 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 Okay. By the way, It also, it reflects the character. It's not, it doesn't only reflect the, the physical. 
but it also reflects the character and the attitude that you have. It means, if you're spiritually dehydrated, you're not only you have, you're not only physically no beautiful countenance outside, but kahit sa loob, even inside, it's not beautiful. What does it mean? You cannot forgive. You you curse people. Diba? Tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Sabi mo sa alakor, oh, mamatay ka na. Diba? <laughs> Puro na lang ganun. Tama ka eh. Yan. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, oh, so talagin mo yung katabi mo. Katalin, katalin, katalin mo yung katabi mo. Dehydrated ka ba? Diba? So, ikaw sumasagot ka sa magulang mo. Yan, yan, yan. Spiritually dehydrated ka. Okay? If you're spiritually dehydrated, it means the, every action that you will do does not glorify the Lord. Like the drugs ka, di ba? Gambling Lord ka, di ba? Babae, ano, lalakero ka pa. Babaero ka, lalakero ka pa. Mababa ka so, di ba? So, 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 and last one. If you are spiritually dehydrated, sabi ko, you're prone to many sickness. And in our spiritual life, if you're physically dehydrated, I mean, you're prone to many sickness. It's easy for you to get uh, obo, uh, cough, cold. It's easy for you. So, if you are spiritually dehydrated, you're prone to many sins. Diba? Kunti kalabit lang sa'yo, sasama ka na. Kalabit din mo kaya ang kalabit mo. Sasama ka na. Okay? Diba? Alright? So it means you're you're prone to every temptation. You easily fall into temptation if you are sick, if you are spiritually dehydrated. Who experienced that? Like sabi ng kaibigan mo, let's go to the bar, let's go to the disco. Try this, try this liquor, try this you try this cigarette, try this try the cigarette, try this drugs and so on and so forth. Then you go naman, ay sige, pa-try nga. Okay, ano na ba? Tama ba? Uh, okay, for example, eh, normal ka sa mga teens, normal ka sa young people, or young people listen. For example, lahat ng parkada mo, lahat sila, merong girlfriend, ikaw na lang yung wala. At sasabihin nila, oh, ikaw na lang yung wala, makawa ka na, mag-girlfriend ka na. Ikaw na nakakita ka lang, may kumalapit lang sa'yo, kinerfriend mo na kaagad. If you're spiritually dehydrated, it's easy for you to be influenced by others, to do something bad, to do something not right. Okay? So, nag-guess niyo ba? So, talagang yung katabi mo, tabi mo sa katabi mo, ikaw ba yun? Ikaw ba yun? Okay. So, let's go back to the story. There was this woman na meet ni Jesus at the well and Jesus asked for water for this Samaritan woman. The Samaritan woman said, parang in my own language ah, in our own translation today, how could you say that to me? Parang, paano po sinasabi sa akin? How could you say that to me? Parang, How could you ask me to give you some water? Di ba, Samaritan do not dwell with the Jews. Ibig sabihin, hindi sila magkasundo. Parang Muslim sa Christiane yan. Para ayaw magsama. Hindi ko pwede magsama kayo. Pag nakita kayo magkasama, ay, magkasama sila. Yeah. Ano ba yung ganun? Bawal yun. And this Samaritan woman, kausap niya si Lord, kausap niya si Lord. Nang sabi ni Jesus sa kanya, kay ni Tubig. Okay? Kay ni Tubig. And sabi ng Samaritan woman, Lord, um, Paano ka nabibig yan? Wala kang ano eh. Wala kang paglagay ng tubig eh. Ano yan? Kakamayin mo. <laughs> ah, wala eh. Ano sabi ni Lord? Pahingi ng tubig. Hindi naman yung sinabi ni Lord, pahingi ako ng isang balding tubig. <laughs> Ibig sabi ni Lord, pahingi akong tubig. Nauubuhaw ako. Because Jesus have a journey. Have a very, very long journey. And just like what I said, it's normal for a person to get physically dehydrated after a very long journey. Right? So, in other words, I believe that Jesus is just asking for enough water to drink. But sabi ng Samaritan woman, how, can I good, how could I give you some? You don't, you don't even have something na pwede kuhan, kuhan ng tubig. You don't have any bucket or glass or whatever. And, And sabi pa ng Samaritan woman, ang lalim nung ano, ang lalim nung balon, paano ako kukuha? So sabi mo sa katabi mo, excuses. Excuses. So, excuses. Okay. Minsan kasi, minsan, sometimes, we have a lot of excuses to be, we have a lot of excuses because 
Ayaw natin tumulong sa katabi. So sabihin mo sa katabi mo, tulungan mo naman ako. Okay? Si Bear, during that time, si Jesus, during that time, needs a water. Dahil nagkaroon siya ng conversation because of that, nagkinausap niya sa Martin Woman, at sabi niya doon sa Woman, Woman, kung kilala mo lang kung sino yung nagsasabi sa'yo, if you're just aware, who's the one asking you, you will ask for more than this water. But you will ask for what? For a living water that will satisfy you. And let's, let's move forward sa story. Hindi na natin mapasahin, magbasahin nyo sa John chapter 4, pag-uwi nyo. Let's move forward sa story. Nagkaroon sila ng pag-uusap ng babae. Then, the bottom line ng kanilang conversation, na pinpoint ni Jesus sa babae, Jesus told the woman, uh, call your husband. Then the woman answered, I don't have any husband. Then Jesus answered, yes, you're right. Wala kang asawa, you don't have any husband because you've got five. You've got five. And the one who you're living right now is not even your husband. Sa Tagalog, sabi niya, sabi ni Jesus, tawag yung asawa mo. May asawa? Wala akong asawa. Oo, oh, tama, tama ka. Wala akong asawa kasi kabit ka ng lima. That's it, ha? That's it, ha? Kabit ka ng lima. Tapos yung kinakasawa mo pa ngayon, hindi mo pa kasawa yun. So, anim. <laughs> tama? Then, bottom line na talagang usapan, nagpakilala si Jesus. Nagpakilala si Jesus. Kaya sabi, sabi na sa Maritang Guman, may nagsabi sa amin, darating yung Messiah. Sabi ni Jesus, ako yung kausap. Ako yung, <laughs> I am the person. Nagulat siya sa Maritang Guman, then, pinawag niya lahat ng kaparanggay niya. <laughs> And guess what? At the end of the story ni John chapter 4, yung mga kaparanggay na tinawag niya, lahat naniwala ka Jesus. Everyone believes in Jesus Christ because the Samaritan woman told them, hey, may tao doon na sabi siya yung Messiah. Let's go there. So, ano yung ibig sabihin nun? That woman is dehydrated. That woman is spiritually dehydrated. It means, that woman is looking for something that will satisfy her. Nagahanap siya ng isang bagay na magsasatisfy sa kanya kasi minsan, nagahanap ka ng bagay na magsasatisfy sa'yo. Tanoy ko yung katabi mo. Tama ba yun? Diba? Parang ganito tayo lang yan eh. Pastor, hindi na nakakatanggap na inang attention. Ano hanapin mo? Attention sa labas ng pamilya. Tama ba rin? Hindi na nakakatanggap ng enough love sa father ko. Di, babae ka, hindi ka nakakatanggap ng enough love from your father, then meron lang magsabi sa'yo lalaki, I love you, then kukunin mo na yung kamay niya, kayo na, at sabi, bigay mo sa akin katawan mo, bibigay mo naman. Tama pala. Ito yun. Ito yun. Or else, ganito, binubumbog ka sa bahay nyo, and gusto mong bumante, pero hindi ka makagalbe sa harapan nila, so ang gagawin mo, lalabas ka ng bahay nyo, sisindi ka ng sigarilyo, tapos, titira ka. O ano? O, o, ang gagawin mo, magbubuli ka ng classmate mo, sisipain mo yung classmate, di ba? Kasi hindi ka makabalo sa magulang ko, bawihan mo yung ibang hindi makalaban sa'yo. Tama ba na It means that's spiritually dehydrated. It means you are looking for something that will satisfy you. You are looking for something that will satisfy your heart. But I will tell you this, it is just a cycle. Paulit-ulit lang yan. And you will never escape that. And then, someone shouted me last uh, one of these days. And that person told me this. And I will tell this here. That person told me this. Um, yung dati kasing balm, let me inform this, ah. Okay. Saka sa tao na yung chat doon. <laughs> yung dati kasing balm, okay, the balm before, just give me five minutes. Just give me five to ten minutes. Okay. The balm before, malit lang kami. And we know each other so well that we feel the pain, we feel the stress, we feel the, ano yan? Yung brokenness of each one. We know each other very well. Ikaw nga magkakatikit yung pinuka namin. So, kung mga isa nang hina, kung yan si Aljo nang hina, I will be there for that person. <laughs> I'll be that person to immediately encourage him and tell him, Bro, okay lang yan. Okay lang yan. Right? Ganun. Sino, sino may mga perkatong ganun? Sino may perkatong ganun? 
Okay? Na, even though without you speaking a word, that person immediately will text you or will call you and that person will tell you, Hey, you can do that. Okay, can I pray for you? Can I help you? Can I encourage you? Etc. Etc. Right? Tama ba? May kaibigan kayo ganun? Yeah. Tignan mo yung katabi mo, ikaw ba yun? Okay, that person, dati yung ganun yung bag. Eh, biglang lumaki. Tapos biglang nagkaroon ng, ng magwapong ito. Biglang nagkaroon ng magagandang iyon. Di ba? Biglang nagkaroon ng magwapong niya sa likod. Di ba? Biglang lumaki. So, so hindi na kami dikit-dikit. Kasi, isin na magdikit-dikit kami, isin ba? Ako, oh, hindi ko hindi siya kami. <laughs> Okay. Isin makalapit ka kay Adjon. Bago ko makalapit kay Adjon. Andito si Jason. Andito si, si Edric. Okay. So before, 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 I can approach him immediately and tell him, bro, you can do that. But this time, I cannot do that. Eh. This time, before I can approach him, Please get your hand. Please get your hand. Just kidding. Okay, let's go. 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 let us go will be on that two person. Right? So sometimes, even though if I have a problem, sometimes if I have a problem, hindi niya papapansin. He will not notice that. Because ang attention niya, nandito sa dalawang ito na mas may problema kaysa sa akin. Ito lang pinagdadaanan ko, pero ito, may pinagdadaanan ng maghindi. So nakadino ang attention niya? Sa dalawa. Can you say the word maturity? Maturity. Maturity speaks of this. Maturity is this. When you learn to be filled up by the Lord. Filled up by the Lord. Sabihin natin, filled up by the Lord. Filled up by the Lord. It means, I'm thirsty for an encouragement. I can come to Him anytime. Yes. Pwede ko siyang lapitan anytime. Yes? But there are times and there are moments that I cannot do that and I can approach God to fill me to fill me up for encouragement, and that's what you need. Yes, sir. So sometimes, kasi tinitingnan natin tao lang, kala natin tao mo sa satisfy sa atin. Pero actually, sabi mo si Lord na mo sa satisfy sa atin. Si Lord na mo sa satisfy sa atin. Eh, pastor, kailangan ko yung tao yun. I will tell you this. Mark my word. I will tell you this. If that person, if I need, I, if I need, if I really need a serious, serious encouragement, and if I'm okay with God, okay, I mean, I really okay with that. Kanya rin lumapit ako, Lord, umiyak na talaga ako, Lord, iyak na ako, hindi mo na kaya, hindi mo na kaya. I'll tell you this. God will send someone, even though without you telling him to send someone to encourage you. Naglalakad ka lang dyan, bilang may tatapik sa balikan mo, and he will tell you, hey, kaya mo yan. The question is, sabi mo sa katabi mo, bakit ka nakadepende sa tao? Yan. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, bakit ka nakadepende sa bisyo? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, bakit ka nakadepende sa bisyo? Why you depend on uh, people? Why you depend on the emotion? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, sabi mo sa katabi mo, sa katabi mo bakit ka nakadepende sa emotion? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, why are you so dependent in those situations? I will tell you this. You don't. You want to be filled up. Sabi natin maturity, maturity. And can you say after me? Be filled with the Lord. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, be filled with the Lord. Be filled with the Lord. Be filled with the Lord. Okay. So that woman realized na ang kailangan niya wala sa tao. That woman realized that. She doesn't need those men. Sino kailangan niya? Sino kailangan niya? Si Lord! Si Lord. Sabi mo, kailangan mo si Lord. Kailangan mo si Lord. You need God. You need Jesus. You need Jesus. Finally. Finally. If you are not... Nangigay siya ba? Pastor, ang hirap magbago. You are dehydrated. Pastor, nagbabago ako. You are not dehydrated. Ganun lang yun. And there are people 
people here, let me end with this, there are people here, feeling nila hindi sila nagbabago eh. Pero last Friday, last Friday, let me tell this, last Friday, um, we had that student night that was there, and they start worshiping the Lord, they start singing heart of worship, and this, this girl start crying. This girl start crying before the Lord. And I'll tell you this, they really cried. They really, really cried. And then we went home and I checked the Facebook. Then I read the post. <laughs> There's a post there with, with the girl. Um, she said uh, very bad words. She said very bad words. So, so I told her, I thought you just worship the Lord. I don't want to worship the Lord. I thought you just worship the Lord. Why you will post those words? And she said, she yeah, sorry. And she said to me, Pastor, I promise I will never post that. I will never post like that. Amen. So, so we will say, "Be filled with the Lord." Be filled with the Lord. Okay. Can I have everyone let's stand? Who is going to do that? As we end today, as we end today, I want to challenge you, everyone here. Let God satisfy you. Amen? Yes. Let God satisfy you. The last Thursday morning, I felt this sharp pain here. Yung talagang every time I cough, every time I have this sharp pain right now. Here my ribs. And I'm just crying before the Lord. Umiiyak na lang ako. I'm just crying before God because of the pain. And I said, Lord, uh, I need you. I really, 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 really need you. And sometimes you don't need that physical pain. Sometimes you need emotional pain. You need pain in your heart. I know someone here. I know someone here right now who can hear my voice. You got issues emotionally that someone from your past has been hunting you right now. Someone, meron sa nakaraan mo buwan pa sa buhay mo. Hey, okay. for someone, uh, there's someone here na lagi kami tinatakbuhan or napapagod ka na. But hindi mo sabihin sa katabi mo, God knows your situation. God knows your situation. So if God knows your situation and you didn't do anything about it, ano pwede mong gawin? Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, go to God. Go to Jesus. Tama ba eh? Wala ka napapagod eh. Siya lang pwede mag-feel sa'yo. So, who wants you to be filled with the Lord? What does it mean to be filled with the Lord? Wait, wait, wait. What does it mean? It's so spiritual, okay? I'll make it practical. What does it mean to be filled with the Lord? It means, whatever's happening in your life, you can do what's right. You can decide what is right. You can, emotion, your emotion is always right. Okay? Example. Ara, permit me to use this. Okay? Example. Si Ara na board exam. Ate Ara. Nakadalong beses na. Parehong bumbo exam. Okay? Unfortunately, she failed to board, board exam. Accountancy. Um, the second time that uh, she took that board exam and failed, I asked her. I really, really asked her. Who is God for you? Sino ang Lord para sa'yo? And she answered me, Ewan. I don't know why. <laughs> Look at that, that, that woman. She's a worshiper of the Lord. She can worship in bad times, in good times. But during that time, she's really expecting that she will pass the exam. Unfortunately, she failed. Bumagsa. Tapos tinanong mo, sino si Lord sa'yo? Ewan, di ko alam, di ko feel. Ayaw ko mag-worship. Ayaw ko mag-church. Huwag mo, buong sabi. Di ba, ganun tayo minsan eh. Di ba, right? You want to isolate yourself, you got problem. No, lumayo ka sa akin. Di ba? Ako ulit. Parang dami tinatamaan ngayon araw na <laughs> Pero honestly, I challenge her. I challenge her. I told her, get up, get up, and get up. Tell the person next to you, get up. Get up. Okay, get up. I told her, get up. I want to see me get up. It means get up from your situation. Get up. I know you're feeling tired, but I'm asking you to get up from that. I know that you're dehydrated, but I'm asking you to get up. And that was, that's what happened to me last Thursday morning. 
I forced myself to get up. I forced myself to get up and I forced myself after the cry I can just lay down because it's so painful. But I forced myself to get up and I start worshiping the Lord and I start dancing. I'm just listening. I start yeah. That's true. I start dancing before God. I start dancing. So maya po ako sa Panginoon. In Tagalog. Totoo yun. It's a repetitive dance. Bato ko lang naman. Wala naman ang kakita eh. I dance privately before the Lord. Uh, I do that. I do that. And despite of the pain, I cannot even live. Hindi ko siya mataas. Kaya na mataas ka na. Nagagawin ko na ko pa to. Thank you, Jesus. Isang malakas sa palangpagsapit ng mga 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 m